So a few days ago, I posted these pictures on Instagram and I had a few of you ask me what were the settings that I were using on my Fujifilm X-T4 and the XF 33mm f1.4 to capture these kind of pictures. So in this video, I will share with you my settings so that you can reproduce and capture the same kind of images in your street photography sessions. All right, so first let's talk about shutter speed. Shutter speed is a really important setting because you wanna make sure that you're able to freeze the action out there in the streets. People are not gonna wait for you. They will keep going on with their life. And generally speaking, you want to have your shutter speed set above one over 200 of a second. On my Fujifilm X-T4, I would generally set my shutter speed to one over 250 of a second as I usually shoot street photography during golden hour or in low light and just forget about it. In that way I'm assured that I won't have any motion blur and that I would have sharp images. All right so now let's talk about aperture. So when it comes to aperture in a situation where I will have plenty of lights I would generally set my aperture to about f4. This allows me to have as much as the scene as I can in focus while being in the sweet spot of the lens. However, when I move to low light environment, I would generally open my aperture as much as possible as I am not too close to my subject and I'm using a focal length such as 35 or 50 millimeter. I generally manage to have all my subject in focus while seeing a bit of the background. My priority is not to introduce too much noise by raising the ISO, which is why I rather decrease the aperture. So honestly, I just try to keep the ISO as low as possible. I shoot in full manual in the street, meaning that I would adjust my ISO on the go depending on the amount of light that I have on the scene. This allows me to have as much control as possible. However, I would not suggest that you do this if you're starting. If you're starting, just let the ISO on auto and just focus on making sure that your shutter speed is at at least one over 200 with your aperture open wide enough to let enough light on your sensor and this should do the trick. But for my part, I like shooting manual because this gives me some flexibility and some creative choice. All right, so now let's talk about focus modes. So when you're in the street, everything around you is really dynamic, right? You cannot ask people to stop to take their pictures. You are here to pretty much document what's happening and take people in their daily life and in whatever they're doing. In order to do this, I would advise you to use continuous mode uh, in the Fujifilm camera. By choosing this mode, your camera will try to continuously focus on whatever is on the focus point or focus zone that you chose. I also use zone mode because I don't have the time to precisely choose the focus point on my screen every time that I want to take a picture. By using focus mode, I will let the camera analyze what is the actual subject in the zone that I selected and the X-T4 usually does a pretty good job at that. However, in some cases, I find myself switching back to focus point because I want to precisely have focus on a small subject. But usually I would say go for focus zone mode because it's the simplest and is the one that will allow you to focus on the scene and on the composition more than the technical aspect. So when it comes to burst mode, I usually shoot in single. However, when I see a subject that is walking towards me with some interesting light, or some interesting pattern that I want to capture and I want to make sure I capture several pictures in a row, I will move to continue slow. I rarely, I, I can't even remember one time that I used the actual continuous high mode, which is more reserved to maybe event or uh, sports photography. So for the street, I would say that either single or continuous low is more than enough. For the film simulation that I use, well, I use uh, classic Chrome because I like the colors that it produces and I always save my file in both JPEG and RAW on two separate SD cards because I want to make sure that if an SD card were to fail on me, I would still have the data and be able to process the images. And that's about it for the settings actually. It's pretty simple, I try to keep it simple and I try to focus on the scene as much as possible. So let me know in the comment if you have any questions about the settings that I described today. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, a subscribe to the channel. And if you've missed it, check out this video right here where I compare the 33mm f1.4 to the 35mm f2, which are two lenses that I love for street photography. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.